So here we are again in our favorite spot. I think today we're going to go to San Rafael Park or the river, see what's going on. So that means we're going to go this way and walk past all this traffic. I was supposed to receive a phone call today to find out if I got the job I applied for yesterday or interviewed for yesterday. It's been a rough week for me. My stalker says she wants to pay, Sarah Jane Underwood says she wants to pay me the 3500 back and then she starts, then she pretends she's going to and doesn't do it. Now she wants me to do things for her and yeah, I'm not doing anything until I get the money back. Hey, look at that. There's even bugs in it. Sunflowers over here. It's changed a little bit since the last time we went through here. But we're going to go on down Virginia Street, just go follow this road here and watch all the people sitting there looking at us like we're nuts. Yeah, keep on going all the way down to uh, downtown Reno. It's about six miles away, so that should be two videos, maybe three. Hey, look at that, silicone. Somebody just dumped it out there. Trash on the side of the road, people don't even pick up after themselves. Probably one of them right there. Little beat up Ford pickup truck. Found a bunch of them on 2003s for on Craigslist or on Facebook Marketplace for for six to eight thousand. They're not worth five hundred bucks. Yeah, look at that. It's a big spot there. Well, let's see what's going on here. Looks like they're replacing fences. Hey, there's the gay uh, Red Bluff story. See their flags out there? Well, maybe you can't see that far, but they've got rainbow flags up all over the place. I keep forgetting you can't see but 100 yards. So what's coming up will be a surprise to you when I talk to you. That's funny. Oh, see, we got traffic coming behind us. They'll run you over. So it's a safety thing today. There's no sidewalks from here until we get down to uh, downtown Reno. So for this kind of walk with no sidewalks, well, even with sidewalks, you're supposed to be facing traffic. It's safer that way. Here comes a bus going the wrong way. It's probably my ride back. Hey, there's a really shopping cart. There's Maybe that'll look different, but they haven't changed anything to it. Except for taking the trailers in the back on. At least they cleaned it up. Because over there on the other side of the fence, over there underneath the cell tower, there used to be a, uh, a shed. They used to keep RVs and way in the back there used to be mobile homes all over the place. Hey, this is wood spools. You want a table? Or firewood? They're still throwing junk out here on the curb. But the big trash can that used to be right there where that cone's at, it's gone. Remember, stories don't even take care of the landscape. And look at that, just overgrown. So we'll just keep going this way.
<laughs> yeah, that lard turned out to be pretty good. Cleaned up. This one's getting more and more equipment put in it. This is a commercial area though. Here comes a speedy. It's 45 mile an hour. He's got to be doing at least 50. This one too. It's a 35 mile an hour zone in this area. Sorry. I thought it was 45, but it's 35. I just took a spin around and looked at the sign. It's 35 mile an hour. And they're doing at least 50. That's what you're going to see all the time. People don't care about the speed limit. They just got to be there first. I swear I ought to do a driver's ed channel. Maybe I'll help people drive better. I start recording the driver's ed things I do do. Got to pay bills if you don't have a job. So anyway, I just uh, yesterday I did an interview for um, Amazon DSP or delivery system for a contractor to Amazon. So you get one of those vans and you run around and deliver packages to people's front doors. One of those seven thousand uh, dollar electric bicycles, which is a moped. There's somebody walking the wrong way on the road. But we're going right past them. Let's see if they wait for the light. Or turn. Nope. Not waiting for the light. We are. Oh, not even the walking lights make a difference. Hey, there goes the yard service. Truck's a little too big for the job, but there goes the yard service. There we go, we're green. Look out for the traffic. And make sure you're not gonna get run over. See, you didn't even see us. Look at that. It is blatant. Call the cops. Probably a cop car anyway. See, that's what I mean. You gotta watch traffic all the time because those things are dangerous. That white car didn't even see us, didn't even care. Yeah. Well, I think I'll put my PayPal up on the screen here um, so you can pay, help me get a hat. Straw hat. To keep the shade out of my eyes while I'm walking. Is this old floppy thing that I've got? There goes an Amazon truck. There goes one of those really, really funny looking Jeeps. They don't seem to do too good off road. Yeah, I'll put the uh, the link for my uh, PayPal up there so you can help me buy a hat. They're about 200 bucks. With all the odd jobs I'm doing, somebody's trying to run us over. With all the odd jobs I'm doing, I can't get the extra money up to, to buy a hat, a straw hat or something that looks better than what I'm wearing. Because I got my felt hat, but out here in these temperatures, that's not a good thing to be wearing. You guys seem to like the... Uh, walks I do on the street better. I mean, the one I went to pay the bills, the, that walk there, the guys went nuts over the third installment. I don't know why, it's all the same thing. Uh, I forgot my camera, so I'll have to do the cover photo someplace along the way with my uh, cell phone for these videos. Maybe there's a yard truck or something there. And I'm going to try to 
do better on the hills because I've been thinking about it. All those sections that I'm out of breath and climbing a hill and breathing like a freight train. I'm going to cut those out or just not record them. Because that's not a good idea. Start shortening my videos up because a couple more months. We'll be into uh, we'll be into uh, winter, and the hiking will have to go away. And I'll have to figure out something for the winter. Which, if I can get to the, if I can get a couple of these women that I've asked to come, be my. Uh, assistant I guess you want to call it or model for photography we'll just go out early in the morning before the walks and get some photos and do what like we did that last hiking video just do a bunch of photos of the girl explain how it works out in the shade and all that fun stuff Or oh, there's a freeway over there, those bull haulers are being noisy. Anyway, so that's the plan is to do that and then I can do photography and get my, get my name back up where, where I'm in the industry again and start doing the doing the traveling photographer thing again. Go from place to place doing photos for money and do the start doing the million dollar magazine cover shots again. So it used to be that way when I was driving trucks early on because I didn't know if I was driving trucks or wanted to do that. Pull into a magazine and they'd have their own staff photographer all bent out of shape because I showed up with my gear. And look at that, an impound. And uh, we should go down in there, but it's going to be a long enough walk getting to San Rafael with the high temperatures today. So we'll walk down here past 7 Eleven and right on down the hill to uh, the stoplight, cross the road, and cross the road, and then go on straight. Yeah, it used to be that way with the photography. It used to be where I could do the, the magazine covers. And nine times out of ten, well, not even nine times, nine, nine and three quarters times, they would pick mine over the house photographers just because they got a different take on the, uh, on the photo and it become the cover photo. And I get to choose, you know, the girls and get the outfit set up just the way right and set the lighting up and set the background up right for what they were trying to say. And so it was basically just tell us stories through photographs. And yes, I could do better with these videos, I know how. But for these hiking, walking videos, hiking videos, or any of the videos I've been doing, I could do a whole lot better with um, 
with the videos, but I'm just not in the, uh, I'm trying to get a whole lot of content up and uh, suppose I could do like most everybody else does. And, Two, four or five videos three to four videos a day and just release them when they get edited but then I'd have to have two computers or three I don't have three I have one that's held together by duct tape well two one's just super old the new one's held together by duct tape and the other one I bought it in 1999 it's still working so I need to get new computers too. I need like four or five laptops to do what I'm doing. Plus a whole lot of more storage for all these videos because I'm filling a, a five terabyte um, videos for hard drives weekly. But yeah, that's just the way it goes. It's kind of one of those things. Here comes a bicyclist. That's a lot of work too. Ugh. So down here, like we did when we went to the hike, we're not going to go up that hill. We're just going to keep on following the road. I didn't bring any photography equipment this time. We'll do that every other hike. Because, uh, you know, the last photos, I took 110. It's like we're safe to cross. Just got to always pay attention to them. Dirty work, so huh? I don't know if that's that guy from TV taking uh, dirty jobs. So anyway, we're here and we're gonna go past the 7-Eleven. There's not a sign there. That's just a piece of cardboard painted white. Marlboros. Seven eighty. I'm glad I quit a long time ago. I quit when they were two bucks a pack, and I thought that was too much. Now they're seven dollars a pack, eight bucks a pack. Yeah, a lot of traffic out here today. I wonder how many of these cars know they're on candid camera. So well, I'm just walking here. I was trying to set this camera up this morning as hands-free, so I got out a little later than I planned on. I'm walking in the middle of this ditch because I don't want to be up there where there's no, no shoulder to walk on. Because this is, you know, most of the roads around the area where I'm at to uh, have to be. Because you can see from the video in front of you, there is no shoulder. This is why you got to be facing traffic when you're walking on the sidewalk or this way, because so when you get into this situation, <sighs> this situation, you can see what traffic's doing by watching them when you're walking. It's hard to always turn around every time you hear a car. Sometimes you don't hear them if you got headphones on. And everybody walks with headphones on, which is the stupidest thing I've ever heard. There's more trash. That's a fire starter. Glass bottle works like a magnifying glass. Of course that is too, that can. It used to be when they first started recycling, there would be enough cans on the street. You can go pick them up and make a pretty good living, but now you can't. Just walk down the road. Car parts, gas cap. Hey, we're in the shade. There's that concrete bag. There's another one. Must have threw it off somebody's truck as they were going. 
Basically, the bag got wet, so it turned into concrete. They threw it off. Hey, there's a Mercedes. It's not the neighborhood for Mercedes, so somebody must be spending above their budget. But I guess if you buy a half a million dollar house, I guess you can afford to buy a Mercedes. They can't afford to buy a half million dollar house because there's not enough people watching these videos. So you all got to get more people watching videos with me. Instead of 100 a week, I need well, 2,000 a week. I need 50,000 a week. Which these are probably boring as hell, but that's okay. Maybe we'll catch somebody stealing something again. Hey, they're fenced. Then you run down here and there's no fence. And you can still get in there. Just walk around the fence. I guess that'd be kind of like Trump's fence on the border. Just walk around it. Until Trump gets back in office. Yeah, apparently Joe Biden has is, is been a crooked crooked, crooked SOB since he started working in the White House. I just saw a story on the news where um, Joe Biden used the IRS when he was in Congress to go after his wife's ex-husband over, over 800 bucks. Look at that. There's trash down in there. That'd be a good place to park your car, huh? Just drive right off at speed. They're doing about 50 up here. There comes another one around the corner. I couldn't see him. Just kind of jumped at you, didn't he? This time we're going straight instead of up there. There's another one that just kind of jumped at you like, where did he come from? They're all noisy. We're going downhill. They're going up. There's no other way to walk this way either. I guess they expect you to ride the bus. And I can't afford to ride the bus right now. For recreational purposes. Now it's going to be fun because we're, we're getting too close to that white line. I'm about a foot off of it. I'm having to walk on the pavement because the rocks and stuff are too uneven to walk on. This is Nevada for you. You got a cliff on one side, a road on the other, and big vans like that coming over. See that FedEx cross the line? You gotta actually pay attention like that when you're walking out here like this. Because this is all for weight loss. So come along with me. Tell me how many miles you walked in a day, because I'm walking a bunch. Well, I'm planning for six, and I might do eight. No more. This is how we get to. Uh, Going downtown, they cross the line too. I think it's because they see the camera, otherwise, they'd be over here where I'm at. They're used to doing it. There's some expensive houses there. I looked at some of those for sale over there. They're uh, just about 900,000 for those houses in that community. And the houses up on top of the hill, you'll see them in a little bit, they're right over there. We gotta watch this pickup. See what he does. If he's gonna run us over, or if he's gonna hold his lane, or be talking on his cell phone to try to run us over. Yeah, we gotta watch all this traffic. They're noisy as hell, but hopefully my uh, mic is isolating them out with the setup I got. Yeah, there's a whole community up here on Chest Rail. 
they've got sidewalks going up, but there's no sidewalks down here. Down here's where we need them because we're going down that hill and around the corner. There's a uh, gas station down there. A Maverick down there. There's houses up here too, and they run for about a million too. I don't know why, they're sandwiched between this road and the freeway, and it's probably noisy as hell up there because of the freeway noise with all the jake brakes and shit going off. If I was going to pay a million two for a house, I think I'd want it further away from the freeway, a whole lot further away from the freeway so it's quiet. There go some golf carts, two of them. Then we'll just keep on walking. Hey, there's a culvert. Here comes a trash truck. They didn't even give us an inch. I didn't even see us. But yeah, we're walking down here and we're on the proper side of the white line, but be real easy for them to run us over. So it looks like we're doing new video down there at the at the um, at the stoplight. This wind uh, that I've got going on right now feels good. I'm sweating. It's getting into the hottest part of the day already. It's probably, oh, I'd say about 80, 85. It's supposed to be up in the 90s, somewhere between the 90s and the 100s. Everybody's saying that's due to global warming, but every summer it gets hot. Just this summer it's a couple degrees hotter. That has nothing to do with global warming. And the weirdos that talk about global warming, they should. Just plant trees. They cool the cool planet down instead of letting all this scrub brush grow. There should be trees, pine trees. See, there's a little better look at the the houses up there if you can see them. So they're all over the place up there. Look at that. More drainage. More. We're, there's a little bit of sidewalk. We we'll use it till we lose it. But we're right here, and, and this is Reno. I mean, this is Reno. It's not very populated right here because the dense population is downtown. They turned all the all the casinos into hotel or uh, condos. California's moving in. You can tell they like condos. One of those condos downtown went for sixty-seven million dollars just recently. I don't know why somebody would pay that for a condo, then you got to pay every month to be there. Unless you buy the whole damn building. And they probably didn't. But yeah, this is just the way it is. We're going down that stoplight and then That'll be uh, new North Virginia Street, because we're on old North Virginia Street now. And then we're going to cross on this side of the road. And then we'll cross on that other side of the road, probably in the next video, but... And I think once we get across the way, I'll take the cover shot for this walk. Oh, and my website got taken down because I couldn't pay the bill. Well, once I get a job, I get all. I won't probably won't put the website back up for a while until I've got a hundred thousand in the bank again. That way, I can afford to pay attention. Now, there's a bus stop right there going down. 
I don't want to wait for the bus, so we'll just walk. Because we're going green. Yeah, well, this will probably be 9 or 10. 9 or 10 videos today, too, because they say it's an hour, but. I'm not even, the Google Maps says it's an hour. So if I'm doing four or five hour walks up on the hillside, then, uh, see, there's the entrance. Oh, that's a church, I'm sorry. They built that recently too for the neighborhood. There's another car, look out for him. He's got a busted fender. That one's been playing bumper cars or something. I wonder if it's people. You don't put it past any of them. Hey, look at that. There's a scooter. Somebody just left their scooter. Sitting there. Oh, it's a bird. It's one of those rentals. So they probably rode it up here and then got on the bus. Look at the sunflowers. We can get over close to these. See, this is what was growing up on Donner, too. They're big, thick skins. They got little sunflowers on them. I like the big bush ones, but those little sunflowers. They do produce seeds. Nice bus stop. They've improved it. That's because they put the sidewalk in here and gave the bus a place to park. But we're going to cross this one in this video by the Maverick and then uh, on that corner we'll end this video and then we'll start the next one for on down further. I know, I'm going too far. My uh, navigation's going nuts. They keep saying, turn right, turn right, turn right, turn right, like I'm in a car or something. I told you I was walking. So now we gotta watch traffic until it clears. There we go. We can cross this thing. We gotta keep watching traffic. Then we'll get over here and we'll press the button. Then we'll get over there. And we'll watch all the traffic all the way around. There is a lock light. So this intersection is pretty bad because crossing this, they'll run you over just to look at you. We've seen people run this red light here and, and uh, run you over. So you gotta always pay attention to them four wheelers. They're dangerous. Hey, look at that, the Maverick's busy. It's probably because it's part of this thing. Let's see, what's the traffic gonna do? There we go, we got it all walking down. I decided I'll go ahead and do the end of the video at this white spot there. We don't get run over by cars. At least it'd be on film if I got run over by a car, wouldn't it? <laughs> Then you guys, you get to see it once I got back out of everything. Look at that ditch. Ooh, that ditch is going to make it tough to go across. See if we can make some steps out of it. I don't know what this big turnaround's for, but they're not unloading from the train tracks here. Okay, so in the next video, we're going to continue walking down this road. Because that's the way to San Rafael Park. I think we got another like three miles or six miles or something. So anyway, that's the end of this video for now. So let me take the lock off my thing and we're going to walk on down this thing. Following the right rules of traffic so we don't get run over by all these idiots. So anyway, I'll talk to you later on the next video. Be safe and make sure you do some walking to lose some weight. Everybody's too fat these days.